Hi there everybody, my name is Christopher and I'm part of the Galileo FX support team. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a remote desktop connection from your phone to your computer so you can actually gain access to your computer directly from your phone. Um, as you can see I have a handy little guide opened up here and you're going to find the links in the description for everything that I'm talking about in this video. I have it open mostly because I run an unsupported Windows that doesn't allow me to access remote desktop. But I'm still going to walk you guys through it and how to do it. It's super easy to do. So let's get started. The first step that we need to do is we have to make sure that the remote desktop feature is actually enabled on our computer. So we're going to head to settings, system, and we're going to look for this option that says remote desktop. It should be between the last options that you have. Uh, once you click on it, let me just move this to the side, you're going to be presented with options in here. As you can see on my guide here, um, this this is how it's supposed to be looking. Let me just maximize this for you guys so you can see. So you're going to have the option to, that says enable remote desktop. If this is off, you just simply click on this button and it automatically enables and it's going to say on. You're also going to have two little options in here uh, that you can also enable. This pretty much prevents your computer to go to sleep mode while you're connected via your phone. This in case you're not at home, let's say you're at the office and you want to connect to modify something on MetaTrader um, and your computer goes to sleep, chances are you won't be able to connect. So this is a handy little feature that lets you exactly bypass that. Um, and also uh, make my PC discoverable on private networks. This is again, if you're at the office and you want to connect, um, this will allow your your phone to connect to your computer from your office to your home. Now, once we've enabled the desktop mode, we're actually going to head over to our phones. Now, you're going to have to open up the Google Play Store or the App Store on iOS and look for the remote desktop app. Uh, it's made by Microsoft, so it should say that Microsoft published it. Make sure you get that one downloaded. Once you download it on your phone, you're going to have to open it up. And once you've opened it up, you're going to see that you are going to have a little plus sign on the upper right side. As you can see here, this is on both the iOS and the Android version. So we're going to have to click on this plus sign and it's going to ask you to input your computer's name. If you're not sure about your computer's name, you can once again head to settings, system, and if you go to remote desktop, as you can see here, it's going to show you the name of the laptop or computer. This can be personalized or it can uh, have the manufacturer's name on it. Usually for laptop, it's gonna con if you didn't personalize it, it's going to be the brand that your laptop is. If it's a desktop, uh, it's probably going to be personalized, such as your name or any other information you might have provided. Uh, but it's super easy to find. As I said, just go to settings, remote desktop, and it's going to say how to connect to this PC, and your name will pop up here. So make sure you note that down. And once you have that, and you have the app downloaded on your phone, you're gonna open up the app on your phone, you're gonna click on the plus on the upper right side, and you're gonna have the option that says add PC. Once you click on add PC, the first option is gonna ask you to input the name. So you're just gonna tap on PC name and you're gonna input the name of your computer. Once you've done that, uh, you're gonna have multiple options in there, this is, entirely up to you guys whichever you want to enable uh, what features or how much you want to control your computer through your phone but basically once you've done that it's going to connect to your computer and if you're going to take a look at your computer in the middle part of the screen on the upper side you're going to see this little tab with three options this pretty much means that you are connected to your computer from your phone. On your phone, you're going to be able to see your um, desktop, your screen, 
and you can just move the cursor around with your uh, finger on the screen of the, the of the mobile phone and that would be pretty much about it um, we're gonna leave the links in the description for the guys so you guys can find it um, I hope this has been helpful have a lovely day ahead and stay safe